Do I summon Slifer? Hello everyone, welcome to a new Dr. Vast stream slash recording. Where we're going to be playing Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. So um, this time we're going to be revisiting the Slifer deck. If you watched the first video of my Slifer deck, we were really struggling. But um, this deck I have play tested a lot, even though like any Life Sworn deck is due to breaking. Um, I feel like this is probably one of the best variations of it. You can easily get this up to 60 cards and run that grass looks greener. I have a variant that runs that grass looks greener. But I feel like 50 cards is exactly what you need. Because each of your mills, even though I run three copies of the cards that summon themselves, um, I wish Lightstorms had more cards that when they hit the graveyard, they did something amazing. But, you know, having six of them is, is pretty good. Uh, and I want to get this video in before the ban list comes out. So when the ban list comes out, Pretty much all the Shizu cards except for Kelbeck are going to be down to one. Um, but we're going to go into the deck profile just to, just so you have a better understanding of how this deck works. So the I run one copy of a Fed Veiler. It would be three, but <sighs> you are points. Am I right? Then we have three copies of Droll and Lockbird. So the reason why I run three copies is because this card is actually pretty busted in this deck. Um, I run two copies of Max C. You can easily get this up to three if you really want to. I kind of, I'm thinking about putting up to three right now. Uh, two cop or three copies of Lumina, Lightsworn Summoner. This is the play, the playmaker of the deck where you discard a card, that's target a level four or Lightsworn and special summon it. Uh, so you can copy it, you can grab a copy of itself and use this effect to bring out another copy of itself and do it again. Because it's not a hard once per turn. Three copies of Ash Blossom because Ash Blossom is amazing. Um, two, two copies of Ghost Spell and Haunted Mansion. I would run three, but I don't have enough UR points. Three copies of Wolf and three copies of Felis. These cards have pretty much the same effect. However, Felis requires it to be a monster effect, while Wolf just requires it to be sent from the deck to the graveyard by effect, period. So, um, the list sometimes will miss off of our six copies of the Light Swarm card, but that happens rarely. If I did run that grass a little greener, you can honestly think about decreasing her, because that grass will not trigger her effect. Um, three copies of Raiden, the Light Swarm, the Hand of the Light Swarm. This is the only Light Swarm with an effect that mills during, in the middle of your turn, so the end phase of the turn. But he only mills two cards, so he's not too strong. And then we have one copy of Before Mage Trick Clown. Uh, when this card is mill sent to the graveyard, you can essentially spell summon itself by taking 1,000 damage. One copy of Fairy Tale Snow. So Snow is um, banish seven cards, summon it in a card in a deck with over 40 cards is really good. Even in a 40 card deck, this card's really good. But uh, I. I feel like you can run one, you can run two. Don't run three, that's too much. Two copies of Keldo. Uh, Keldo and Mudora are both going down to one. And these cards give you graveyard control. And they also have other effects, like Mudora, you can discard another Earth Fairy to instantly set Grave Creeper's Trap for your deck onto the field. Uh, which is amazing, because Grave Creeper's Trap lets us discard cards from our hand and search cards out, and it also locks our opponent out of using their graveyard completely. Uh, and Keldo lets us search for any card that mentions Exchange of Spirit, which is the entire archetype, which includes Kelbeck, Agito, and even um, Gravekeeper's Trap. Keld Kelbeck has his main effect is when he's milled, we can send the top five cards of the deck to the grave, and if Exchange of Spirit's in the graveyard, we can set a trap. It says we're running the Slifer version of this deck. Um, we we have three copies of a trap card we want to be set. So if we have Exchange of Spirit and we mill one of these cards, we'll instantly set it, regardless of if Slifer's in grave. We can put Slifer in grave pretty good with this deck. One copy of Destrudo, we rarely synchro summon with them, but if, um, we more either Xyz or Link summon. 
but he is an extender and if we mill it he it pay half to get a good extender will also put himself back in the deck um one copy of slifer one copy of monster reborn because it starts level by revived sky god three copies of solar recharge because <laughs> this deck runs a lot of bricks and that card is essentially discard one draw two and mill two which is pretty much what the deck needs charge of the light brigade this card pretty much is that's in the top three cards for your deck of the graveyard i don't most of the time you don't even care if your opponent negates it i've already won when this card is in my hand two copies of clawed by the grave just to stop any graveyard shenanigans or hand traps and one copy of Strange of spirit to make gravekeeper's trap alive and all of our um is she do cards better and an extra deck we have one michael i thought about not running michael However, he is so good in this format where we just have to banish a card. The life point cost can get pretty hefty after we pay half a thousand and stuff, but he is so good, uh, honestly. And then during the end phase of the turn, he also mills, and he he most likely is going to make the end of the turn if you don't kill. Uh, one copy of Cypher and Lord Omega. He's to recycle our shufflers. That's his main his main job is to recycle our banished cards. And, or and to snipe a card out of our opponent's hand. Uh, one copy of Borlo Savage Dragon. Because we go into Link Summons and we commonly go into Link 3s. So Borlo Savage is pretty much live if we summon him. One copy of Chaos Ruler. So this card is an extender and it's really strong. We don't have that many dark monsters in our deck, unfortunately. So we have to banish extra deck monsters to bring him out. But he is still good. One copy of Abyss Dweller stops the graveyard. Number 82 Heartland Draco for that attack directly for that sweet Zeus. Uh, one copy of Minerva. One copy of Curious. This deck can summon it in its sleep if you're lucky with your mills. If not, um, so Curious lets us send any card from the deck to the graveyard and then it mills three, which is always good in this deck. We always have options. Um, and Nightmare Unicorn just shuffle back any card mech knight crusadia avermax because i love avermax even though i rarely summon him apollosa apollosa is just in the gate and we do go into apollosa if in our optimal field and access code talker gives us game so yeah we're going to hop into some games if you're curious though to what to do when these cards hit one um you can run two so there'll be Five cards from this deck, one, two, three. Four cards from this deck will be gone. You can replace them with hand traps with other light swarms. Um, you can increase the amount of Gravescreeper traps. Uh, there's a, you can add another fairy tale Snow, other hand traps, cross out designator. The last stuff you can't add to this, but um, I feel like this deck is highly customizable to how you like it, which what I really like about Yu-Gi-Oh in general. But this deck has a lot of custom, you can customize it to however you want it to be. I prefer a 50 card deck without grass to look greener, but you can run grass if you really want to. Let's see what we're working with here. Uh, I mean, this is still a brick, but let's hope that we're not playing against the elements. If we are, I'm going to try to play through it, but I can assure you it's not going to be... Okay. No, we're not going to... Let's pretend that we have Maxi. I already know what cards in the gate, though. There's two cards in the gate. And you are not one of them. So I want to either negate their Xyz or their Link 2. from the graveyard. The Banishing one leaves the field. This guy has no clue what he's doing. He just made a critical error. You're not supposed to link with this one again. He's ended his turn, okay. If he has Ash Blossom, I just kind of lose, huh? That's this out. Got a Light Swarm from my hand to draw two. Bringing the gates. 
Yeah, pretty obvious. So if he doesn't go for access code talker, I have to negate his link too. And if I don't draw anything, I'm just going to scoop. Then he's going to use the effect to summon him again. Wait for him to activate his effect. So the reason why I'm negating Soulmite Wolf instead of his Xyz I summoned from the deck is because Soulmite Wolf lets him recycle his cards in the graveyard, and specifically his trap. And if he gets his trap again, I lose. So I'd rather just take this damage, call it a good uh, a wrap. Are you just recycling? Does it summon itself? I think it summons itself. Yeah, it does. This is an access code talker right here. But your, your monster's effects are still negated. Alright, well, everything is literally on this draw. So let's see if I draw... Anything that is not one of the light swarms that I do not want to draw. Okay, come on, please. Anything. We can do this. We can't. We can't do this. Please. Please. Oh, this isn't terrible, actually. No Maxino Ash. I would have done it the other way if my hand was different, but I don't have any any extenders. Slim Minerva! I uh, see out of the Fet Villa or something like that. He does not. I just drew three cards! It happened! It's crazy! All right, this this is what I'm talking about. All right, he's playing Utopia, as I figured. And there, oh my goodness, these mills are going great. Nine grave, so I have to choose something else. So we have a warrior, beast warrior, and fairy. That was my cat screaming for I don't even know what. Last piece of the puzzle is you.
I can't exist on it. <laughs> you know, I... He probably could have still won. I don't know why he gave up. Alright, let's take a look at this. Uh, the hand's okay. Not the best, not the worst. It literally depends on these next two cards or mill. Like every other game I play with this deck. If he Ash Blossoms this, I'm probably not going to negate it. Just because I don't really, I have no guaranteed play after it. And those two cards are still going to get milled too. I'd rather keep Ash Blossom alive for myself. Oh, that's beautiful. This is looking actually pretty good. See what I'm playing against. Um... Oh, is that weird water deck? Yeah, I'm glad I kept Ash. Okay, any shufflers? Hit a wolf. No shufflers, though. Cool. This monster is coming. You target one. Add this card to your hand. Okay. Did he just? Yeah, he just misplayed. Cool. Give me that one, sir. Yeah, he has no 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 response to that. And his field so doesn't get added to his hand. And it's a once per turn. Yeah, I'm just gonna switch these to attack position and call it a game. that access code and bring him back because he's a dark monster you're pretty much done for the game and so are you Do this. Good game.
Yeah, no, they never see it coming. Oh, it's not a bot. It's a UA player. Uh, this might not be UA. This could be self DK. Yeah, I think this is self DK. Well, um, seems like this deck isn't going to be. But if, if you're curious on my current standing of the ban list, I feel like the the ban list. Is garbage. Why they're banning terra terraforming? I literally will not ever understand. And we're going to hit him. Synchro summon for Michael, the Arch Light Swarm. What this card is. Let's see if it's a dumb card. Okay. He fully expects to die. We're gonna make this quick. A monster reborn to our hand. And you know what? This is going to be the first time already in the first 10, first 15 minutes. We're going to summon, um, Slifer! And I get two battle phases. Slifer will attack your monster first, because Slifer is a terrible card. Then Michael will attack your super, this is not a sign. This is a six samurai, not a super heavy samurai. And that is a game. Well, as you can see, this deck is relatively easy to pilot. It's, it's, it does have its moments where it's it has its difficulties. So this deck is a really good deck. Um, it is very prone to breaks, as most Light Sworn decks are, as I'm sure you're familiar with. But um, some really strong points about this deck that when it's going, is actually one of the strongest decks in the game. Or like you can summon up to six. These cards are not once per turn, so if you mill perfectly every time, you can honestly summon them. If you have two shufflers with nothing, you can summon them twelve times in a singular turn. And even though it doesn't look like my extra deck is much, uh, this extra deck is enough for you just to pull out some wins. Because these monsters have such high attack and they have good utility. But again, the downside of this deck is that um, they they are just prone to bricking. Um, these, these cards can't be summoned. When they're in your hand, they're just dead. And I've opened every game with them instead of the cards like uh, Mudora. When this Mudora and... Kaleido are kind of the play very important play stars for this deck. So it's kind of sad to see them go, but it's it's for the health of the game because there's no other cards like them in the game of Yu-Gi-Oh! And that's pretty sad that these cards, if they weren't quick effects, they'll still be good, or at least quick effects during your turn. They would be good, but they wouldn't be like you know, the best cards in Yu-Gi-Oh! Um... But yeah, thank you for coming by the video. Like, comment, subscribe if you made it this far. You clearly like me. I have a lot more Yu-Gi-Oh! videos up. And I also stream this. Uh, I stream frequently. I can't give you a schedule. Because I'm terrible with that right now. But we are going to learn and grow together. So I'll thank everyone who stopped by for the stream. I appreciate you too. Um, and I hope you guys have a great day. Goodbye.